This is to introduce the iCore HCDC channel emulator. In a wireless channel, you have the situation where you transmit from one station to another station to a receiver. In our case, we're transmitting an 8PSK digital signal. Now, typically, you would like to have the signal to propagate along a single path, and then you have a, an exact, exact replica copy at the receiver. But in many cases, you have the situation where you have reflections arriving at the receiver with uh, a certain delay attached to them. Likewise, they may be reflected off buildings. So in this particular case, we may have three reflections arriving at the receiver and superimposing at the receive antenna, causing a signal that is a complicated mixture of the transmitted signal, as shown here on the scope. Now, our channel emulator has been developed by uh, our students, and Saeed is going to uh, explain the details of this uh, setup and system now. Thank you, Dr. Schlegel. Uh, here is basically the setup that we use for fading simulator. It uh, includes the hardware and requires software for that. The uh, system has a wide variety of parameters that we can set for simulating different fading scenarios. Here we see the software and basically we have access to uh, setting different fading parameters. Like the transmitted signal that Dr. Schlegel talked about is this signal that was uh, sent from the transmitter and basically after fading the signal uh, would be repeated in random ways due to multipath propagation. Here we can basically set number of paths and the statistics of different paths. Let's say for example in a one path fading scenario the signal only experiences random uh, changes in the phase and amplitude. On the other hand if we have two path fading Basically, the signal can get replicated in random ways, or for example, if we go back to the first, uh, first setting, which was a three-path fading, that's what Dr. Schlegel talked about. Basically, this is the signal that we get. Depending on the uh, arrival of the signal, uh, we can see different scenarios, like for example, Ricean fading, in which the signal only experiences some phase change, and the amplitude is fixed. Depending on the angle of arrival, this phase change can be uh, different. And basically our system is capable of uh, simulating other fading parameters and other environmental changes like for example noise. In this case the noise is added to the signal. The system is also capable of simulating multiple antenna systems that Dr. Schlegel can explain more for you.